Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I intend to make orbit. We've picked up the contract and yeah, for a satellite. So no other requirements. We do, oh, I, we do have to collect science, but that should be trivial. And otherwise I'm a little bit troubled by the fact that we have so many tourism contracts, but then again, you know, Blue Origin exists and their first rocket was a tourism rocket, right? New Shepard. And also there's Virgin Galactic. So I guess that's a thing people do, but it's just a matter of that having, you know, exclusive rights to all of our remaining contracts that aren't picked up by this. And we don't, we aren't qualified to do anything except for those tourism things with the high G forces. Uh, I don't think uh, any of them even say that we're supposed to bring them to space. It's all G forces. So we've proved that we can do G-forces because we had those solid rocket motors uh, boosting our rocket and uh, those produced high G-forces. So I guess they're confident that we can do that. All right. So yeah, we've unlocked a basic rocketry and engineering 101, but we don't have enough for anything else right now. And those should be unlocking, right? Well, I say unlocked, but it takes time. And we should look at upgrade points here. I think we can just put that into science would be best right now and we can use funds to buy more upgrade points and maybe we should do a little bit of that uh, I could I, I won't spend those yet let me just see how much a rocket is going to cost the one to get us to orbit now last time we used this and this core is very nice and all but it doesn't have SAS so we would have to dump fire it there are options for having SAS uh, the WAC Corporal uh, has command, but I don't think it has SAS. The Araby Sounding Rocket Core, um, I, 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 it has command, but no SAS. What does have SAS is this payload adapter. It does have stability assist and prograde or retrograde hold. So I don't know if we um, need that or whether we could use one of these in order to get some sort of control. We could apparently use attitude control by Mechja, by the way. But I'm going to play it a little bit more legitimately and try and use this. And so we're going to not save that. We're going to try and launch an actual satellite. Why not? We're going to downscale this. Actually, uh, at its regular scale, the little boxes on it are based on actual uh, control units. And this is a CubeSat. And we can extend solar panels like that. It's handy. It's got the control core and the battery built in. Those are the two panels in there right now. And as before, we'll add some additional science. It's hard to get them on these nodes exactly. Um, I don't even know where that one went. I mean, technically in space, we've already gotten some of the readings. Oh, that doesn't let me slide it down. Okay, that's fine. We neglected to get some of the data, this time we'll get the rest of it. Now, this could help with communication. I don't know, I think we need level 2. Do, do, does... I need to check this. Does real antenna understand it if we've got this tech tree? I hope it doesn't see us as RP0. It says that it's got the different tech, com tech levels in different positions in the tech tree. Let's just check that. I'm just gonna call the rocket alpha for now. I don't know, if it thinks that we're RP0, which because I'm this is based on RP0, it's not impossible. But then again, it shouldn't be, maybe, I don't know. Well, once we unlock Engineering 101, we should find out whether we get ComTech level one. That's all that's needed for ComTech level one. So we'll see. We'll see whether a ComTech level 1 unlocks when we get this technology. For now, we're stuck with ComTech level 0. I don't think with ComTech level 0 we've got relaying here. So that's 22 decibel milliwatts. With that, we start going down at 4,000. Still seems to have a pretty decent range, but no more at 12,000. So that, that's pretty good. We'll keep it to that. This is fairly mild after all. 
Okay, so that's a little guy there. We do have procedural fairings, or rudimentary ones. Hopefully we can make them small enough. Oh gosh, look at that. Um, we don't actually want this node to decouple. We need the core anyway, and the payload adapter does have a decoupler on it. Uh-oh. We can't make them small enough. Oh gosh. Uh, I'll have to check the procedural fairing limitations. It doesn't seem like... They've they turned all the procedural fairings into new procedural fairings and everything has changed and that just resized a lot. Uh, something's going a little bit differently. This one can get to a slightly smaller size. Yeah, when I right click on it... Oh, this one is fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll use this one. I don't know what is going on with them, but fine. Uh, is there one that's flat? Maybe it's maybe what I did is conflicting with something and it's all glitchy. Yeah, what I did conflicted with something else and it's all glitchy, I think. Because this definitely wasn't resizing well before. But now, now it's a happy little small fairing. Okay, well, we'll use it then, because it's a better fit than that. In fact, I feel like we should put one of the little SRBs below this. At least the procedural parts can go to small size. There we go, that'll give us an extra 669 for some reason. But this can spin up and prepare it. We could have a whole stack of them. In fact, maybe we should have a bunch of them. Like they haven't gone wrong for us in previous videos or something. Again, sorry, sorry about how they attach. Okay, I'm gonna disable staging on that. We do want staging on this. I don't think we need the decoupler actually. We'll just have them sort of stay attached to the CubeSat. That's a clean 1671 now. So, as far as engines are concerned, we've got the somewhat large S2.720, the eBay engine, and this has a 39 kilonewton thrust, and then we've got the Araby, which is 7.7. .7. So, we'll have an Araby, and actually we can get the AJ1027 or the XASR. XASR has better ISP. The AJ1027 has better duration and presumably uh, reliability. We need a high pressure tank, remember, and all we can get is high pressure aluminum gridded tanks. And that's a stage. Um, that's 24 seconds. That's probably too small. We can do better. This has a total burn time of 52 seconds. That's 52 seconds. Still a lot of thrust to weight ratio. Oh, yeah. The XASR has 18 kN, well, 21.3 kN of thrust. That's why. We could have some RCS tanks, and we probably should. But as far as what re what RCS we actually have, we have this CubeSat RCS. That's nitrogen RCS, and it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. As you can see, it's uh, it's one newton, one newton. Um, we could put it on the side and see what happens. It's got the tanks and the little thrusters. They're so small we can't even see them. And I wouldn't know which direction they fire in. <laughs> um, so we could do that. Or we could use this CubeSat reaction wheel, which I think is a real one. It costs a lot, $8,000. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have the reaction wheel thing. I think. Realism Overhaul got rid of the reaction wheel thing. I put the reaction wheel thing on. It is a reaction wheel. But I think Realism Overhaul removed it by force with one of those global configs. So I'll have to fix that. So all we've got is the nitrogen RCS. 
4.6 units of nitrogen. I think we're going to need more nitrogen. At least we don't have tooling to worry about. Okay, gave me some nitrogen. I don't know, I don't think that's going to be enough, but... But, it's something. Alright, so we've got the Airby stage. This needs to be a high pressure tank here too, this is also pressure fed. Well, seems happy, but that's too long a burn time. These uh, do gimbal. They were for a surface to wear missile after all, they had to maneuver. So that's fine, but the burn time, total burn time is 150 seconds. We need more than one, but we need more than one for the thrust to weight ratio anyway. So I think we're going to have two. I think I've done something vaguely like this before. Got pushed at two and a half minutes. 1.2 sea level thrust to weight ratio. Oh, that curved bit is funny. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the best thing to do, but uh oh, not what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, go back. I wanted legacy textures. Ah, uh, let's give it a Thorable thing. 9,228 is a little bit tight, obviously. Not ideal. Also, our RCS system is lamentable. So, there, there are a lot of ifs about this. But it's cheap, so let's try it. Well, we've got the Thorable thing. I'm going to call it Mabel. For maybe able. <laughs> maybe able. Okay, 15 days to construct it. Reasonable. I mean, it's mostly off-the-shelf parts. We bought the engines off of eBay. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right, SAS on, throttle up, ignition. Oh, why don't we get MechJib out? Smart ASS. All right. Ignition, they both lit, and go. We'll just execute that. Ignition failure rate is a whole 6% though, so watch out. Meantime, before failure, 24 minutes right now. We're collecting data though. Alright, just like that, we're past the speed of sound. Hail adapter short circuit. What exactly short-circuited? Gosh darn you! Oh scrap. I don't know what it means by short-circuit. I mean, I don't know what that practically means. Nitrogen leak on the CubeSat RCS? Well, it's not that bad. We're gonna have to turn on the nitrogen soon anyway. Okay. Oh no, go! Oh shoot. Maybe I should spin up first. Bearings. Nitrogen RCS, come on. Come on, nitrogen RCS. More nitrogen leak. Uh, come on, one Newton thrusters. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. I think we're gonna need more than one Newton thrusters. We can spin it up with the first stage. Performance loss. Well, at least we're getting data. Well, we might as well gain data on those by firing them too. One of them had an ignition failure. Okay, well, it's gonna go pretty high. Oh, trash part is a thing. We can do some of the space science we missed last time. That one we've done. This gravity scan we didn't finish. Okay, we got it. But it's going to be meet its demise. Well, I wasn't going too fast, so it managed to survive that part. 
We still got 114 more days until basic rocketry unlocks. Maybe I should spend the points on the science. I think I've decided that. Okay, it did meet its demise. Space Center. Yeah, I think we'll aim to spin up with this stage. Hopefully that'll help. I don't know if there's any point to trying to use such weak RCS on that stage. It was RCS meant for a CubeSat, after all. Maybe we should have three. I think after this time I'll probably try for three of the S2.720 engines and just make the first stage bigger to make sure that we get high enough and then do the horizontal bit, but first we'll try this. Okay, spin up is the plan. SAS on, throttle, okay, not that way, throttle up, and ignition, and we have an engine failure. Okay, 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 shut down, shut down, shut down. Rollback, at least I don't have to pay especially for the rollback or anything like that. Recover active vessel, yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. I think if we just go with it, it's going to be okay. I don't have to replace them or something. I'll save edits though. Okay, SAS. Oh, um, hmm. Okay, bring the engines in and back out may or may not have worked. Um, well, it falls down. Let me activate engines like that and then just throttle up. Okay, maybe they work. I'm certainly not going to argue. Okay, but we have to make sure to get to space and spin up. So that's tough. <laughs> we have to go a little bit steeper than what I'm doing right now. Okay, switching to SAS so I can spin. Maybe right there. Okay, go. Bearings. Alright, well, sort of. Maybe this is okay. Don't wobble too much. No failure messages this time so far. But we did take off all the RCS, so... Maybe we should have been more horizontal. Ooh, that thrust wave ratio is higher than I thought it was going to be. Off scale high. I, I don't know what it ended up at. We we're also ending up pretty high. Oops, F3 was what I wanted. 20.9 Gs. Okay, can you guys light? It says ignition failure rate is normal. Now we had 1,600 meters per second, but I think we ought to wait. But how long can we wait while still maintaining connection? Our apoapsis is over here, and I don't think we can stretch our lines that far. There's Bermuda. Bermuda's not as strong as Cape Canaveral, I think. Okay, well, we're getting a little bit stretched, but we're pointing up. And we would barely have enough delta V as it is. I don't think we're going to make it, but it's going to be close. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, if we weren't so high up. I think I'll try it again. I think I'll try it again. We have uh, no probe control, though. Um, that's sort of surprising because this this had this had the comms right. This had some comms. Wonder if it'll pick up comms later. Okay, it does. All right. Well, as long as it does eventually pick up comms, that's fine. Well, we're going higher up than we ever got before. I don't know if that does anything for the science. No, I mean. Well, it is a, a different biome for the gravity scan, so I guess it does. Or not, because we can't transmit fast enough 
we lost communication. Oh no, we, we got it apparently. Okay, properly exploded. Before I forget, let me put the put some money, more money into upgrade points and into science, because that's coming in a little bit slow. All right, one more time, but we want to be more horizontal at the end. I still think we're probably better off going with three engines, but if we can manage it, I mean, it was really close last time, so. Oh, we keep getting one of them on for some reason. <laughs> okay. Throttle up. Ignition. Okay, okay. That's a little bit weird. Oh. All right. Don't know what's up with that. We built a new rocket this time. It wasn't the same one that had the engine out at the ignition. Okay, well, go, go. Ah, uh, Ledge. Gosh darn it. It's spinning up too fast, probably. Oh well. Uh, I'll abandon this one. Okay, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more capable. And we're also gonna... Can we get Separatrons? Uh, we can probably just slap some of the little saw rocket motors as Separatrons, though they're not perfectly reliable, mind you. Uh, Separatrons for the Air B stage. Okay, three of these little guys. Lengthening the stage. Ironically, the Separatrons don't have too much worse efficiency than the actual Araby, I guess. I am going to tuck them in. And remember, the duration here isn't right for the less RBs. It doesn't understand the thrust curve on them. Okay, 9,400. Not great. But should do it. We could lengthen the stage even more, but let's keep it to this. Mabel 2. Okay, three engine version. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. Why didn't it ignite though? Okay, I'm worried about how this is working. Um, uh, there's something wrong here. If I activate the engines now, they'll activate, but that's not how... That's not how this thing is supposed to work. It's not how it's supposed to work. If somebody knows why it's happening like this, tell me. But alright, ignition, launch. That's certainly not how it worked in 1.8.1 with RP2000, so I don't know. Something is stuck. Spinning. Uh oh, uh oh, wobble, wobble. Kill rotation. Wobble. No. Spin. Okay, that's not a good location to spin at. Okay, well we got that working, but we're pointed down. No! That's not the way I wanted to be pointed. Oh well. I mean, it's an, in a lot of space. A lot of space is happening there. I pointed too far down. And actually, this is probably going to explode. Yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. All right, one more time. I don't know, I even called it Mabel 2, but for some reason it thinks these are... Here, let me just replace them. I don't know what's up with uh, how it's keeping track of them. Test light. 
or maybe Kerbal Construction Time. Some mod is keeping track of them in an interesting way. Okay, if we can just get this right, it'll have enough Delta V. Throttle up. Okay, they ignited normally this time. So taking them off and putting them on again after an engine failure is probably a good idea. Okay, well I'm gonna flatten out and I think maybe I can roll. Ooh, it gets a little bit wobbly when I roll though. Okay, separation. Maybe that's good enough. Still trending downward. It's not a happy wobble. But is it a failure wobble? So far that's a uh, good apoapsis. We'll wait a little bit. Still one of the little solid motors could fail. Hopefully we're gonna pick up Bermuda soon. Okay, we have picked up Bermuda. You're still spinning in time warp. I, I don't think I put in persistent rotation separately. I think that's just built in now. Okay. Here we go. They all lit. And that's an orbit. Let's get rid of some of these. Yes, many stages have been destroyed in the process of this. But contract complete. We did get to orbit. It doesn't pay that well, not compared to all of our needs like hiring more scientists and engineers, uh, you know, the upgrade points, or, you know, upgrading the buildings potentially eventually. But we have our first satellite in orbit. Um, maybe there was a little bit of... Sun I think it the gravity scan in this version does still depend on surface biome, so we'll see once we get more connection when we can pick up some of that. We're gonna get pretty high up here though. And I don't think... I thought the antenna plan said that from this altitude we'd be good, but that's only to the DSNs, not all of the ground stations. Yeah, we picked up Australia, Canberra. But is there any science here? No, there's still water. Well, MacJeb can tell us surface info. Yeah, configure my windows. Oh, we missed some tropics and shores. Whoops. Oh, tropics. Uh, no, we've done tropics. Well, with sunrise there, we should be coming close to the United States again. We have picked up Goldstone there. We just need another biome except for water. Okay, uh, actually that wasn't... Oh, I guess, uh, well, shores apparently we've got already. Desert? Okay, desert's new for the gravity scan. Yeah, we got grasslands. Okay, I think we did those. Still some gravity scans to do, probably. Definitely the poles. Well, I forget if poles is... A, I assume it's a different biome, but... Anyway, first satellite. There you have it. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.